What is up boys and girls? Welcome back to another Aoki video. Today we're going to be doing something we haven't done in a while. We have in the past done these videos where we get uh, coached in-game coaching from the absolute best player on their champion. You know, we've done Dave Vaughn on Pike. We've done I Keep It Taco on Jin. Well, today we are joined by the one and only Xpet2, the number one Shin player in the entire world. Uh, if you guys don't know this guy, he makes excellent content. It's genuinely like... I don't even know, bro, because I don't play top lane, and sometimes I throw this guy's videos on. It's, like, almost meditative. He's just got, like, super relaxing, super positive vibes. Um, and, yeah, today we're gonna he's going to be walking us through how to play Shin support. So, what's up, Expatu? I agree, thanks. Thanks for the kind words. I think this Warwick is trolling a bit. All right, all right. You know, first thing that I notice, like, aside from your compliments, is look at how small your minimap is. Maybe it's... Does that mean, need to be bigger? Like, bro, on Shen, that thing needs to be your monitor size, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me let me figure out how to make that bigger then. Interface, and then Any map. minimap scale. All right, it's, all it's bigger. Way. All, all the, way. the way. Oh my god, man. <laughs> that <laughs> That's gonna so be. Okay. That looks so weird. All right, are we fighting this or what? I don't know, man. It looks a bit. Oh, now let's miss. Nah, we're going, bro. We're going. It out. Okay, you're going. We're in. going. We're going. You're good, bro. But I, I can't even flash. Someone kill the Nautilus! Oh my god. Yes! Okay, okay. Nice. That's All cool. right. Bit of chaos, but yeah, guys. It's going to be yep. a very educational video. Uh, we've got the number one Shin player in our ear. He's going to be walking us through what to do, how to build, um, and just generally teaching you guys about Shin because nobody knows Shin more than this guy. So Okay, I okay, okay, okay. So I'm, I'm going to touch on the runes while we're walking through the lane here. So okay. we've decided to go for Aftershock with Aoki here, and then we have a little bit of... Uh, Font of life techno- wait, did- oh no, oh no! That's tragic. E flash. Ooh, you already got it. I, so I, I, I wanted to impress my coach there. Yes, that's the number one mechanic you must learn <laughs> then. If you're running flash, E flash on top of enemy. Guaranteed taunt, uh, it's very good flash for it. Okay, look, Legion, look at the least. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah? I mean... You're kind of low level here, yeah. so you're looking to get level 2 first. So the thing about Font of Life is that it scales very good with HP, and Shen loves HP, right? And you can trigger Font of Life by dragging the blade through an enemy with your Q, because it slows. And also applies on E. So here we're probably just gonna taunt back through the Nautilus, and look at, we're gonna heal Bane here for a little bit of HP. Probably 30 or something. Not bad. That's gonna make a difference, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this guy is really stressing me out. I feel like he should just go back at this point. Yep. But, oh, that Nautilus is throwing some mad hooks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you hooked the wall earlier. <laughs> All right, so are in the position like this, are we really looking to fight? Cause like my vein is super low, but you know, maybe if you we know, land a crazy font on Nautilus maybe. I'm thinking we bait some kind of engage or dive and you just pick up a return kill there because they, they really want to go on Vayne, right? Mm -hmm. So ideally you kind of block a Nautilus hook or something, tank it and then taunt under tower. Like taunt under tower is such a powerful way to catch enemies of guard. But like if you miss taunt under tower, then you're going to take a punishment, right? Should I be looking for this vein or for, for this Ash? I think so. Okay, okay, okay. We're going, we're going. Taunt. And Warwick is there. Big, big, big. You. We're gonna get them both. And then make sure to get the Q slow here. So walk along. Perfectly done. Man. Sweet. Nice. All right. You're, that's like something that like takes a long time for some people to understand this, that it's better for you to not auto attack, right? You just want to get the slow from Q. So that was well played by you. Yeah. What can, what can I say, bro? I'm a fast learner. Have you played Chen before? Like how much? Um, I've played him. He's definitely not in like my top 20 or 30 champions, but mm -hmm. I've played him. He plays pretty similar to Leona. Let's like... go Boots Ruby Crystal. Okay, Boots Ruby. What, what are we going to be looking to uh, to build here, by the way? So, so some people would say hard steel first item. And I, I wouldn't say that myself, honestly. I think it's, it's a very bait item. If we wanted to go for, you know, big clickbait high HP, I, I would go for that. But I don't know. I don't like the item. Personally, I would go Trailblazer, like first item. Okay. Just start roaming around. I like that, I like that. All right, Vayne took like a really delayed back. Uh, yeah. River's warded, so I can't, I guess I can walk with Warwick. Oh, he can start the, uh, can start Dragon maybe. Yeah. 
So Shen is actually very good at helping junglers do dragon because your Q deals max HP damage, right? So it has a cap on monsters, but it's still like good damage that you're outputting. Oh yeah, I saw also, that. Also, your W can block dragon auto attacks. Do you think I should be using that or saving it in case like? I I, I would use it, but although like for Warwick, it's like he doesn't mind being low HP, right? So yeah. it's, it's probably in this case not crucial, but I'm using W like very freely. So, or liberally. So, whenever I feel like I can block one or two out of I will always use W. Um, oh, I failed. Nice try, nice try. Uh, he's so w, supportive, guys. I, lit I literally missed and He's yeah. like, nice try, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can block the Nautilus uh, passive route with your W. I think that's the best use of W in this matchup. Yeah, that's like, you can do that to Leona Q as well. It's like, I feel yeah, like exactly. Shin yeah. has so much like hidden just broken utility in bot lane i feel yeah so so actually the like ultimate combo in this lane is that when enemies are engaging on your vein like you will ideally have the blade positioned on top of her and then you can just w to block like nautilus root on vein and afterwards the nautilus is gonna look to hit you and then you can press q to move the w and still block like nautilus on yourself as well so there is like Maybe once in 20 games kind of stuff that happens, but if you look for it, you can make it happen. Okay, okay. So yeah, there's a lot more that goes into like the Q and what you can do with it than I think a lot of people, or at least I realize. Because like mostly mm. when I play Shin support, I'm like, I'm thinking about the E flash and that's pretty much it. Yeah. It's like, okay, can I land the taunt? If so, cool. Yeah, and I think like opening up with Q slow is much better than opening with an E flash, right? So if you can just slow the enemy and then walk up and then E, then you can possibly save flash to chase. But but That's, like see see why did that not slow her? Because isn't it supposed to slow her if she's missed, running away? Because you missed. Oh okay, that does it. <laughs> that makes sense. Also, the thing is that uh, your slow scales with Q rank. This is something that people don't know. Uh, it used to be flat 35% in like you know three four years ago, but nowadays it's 15 at rank one, and it scales per level you put into Q. So it's not gonna feel that impactful in the early lane phase. I think you got that. W usage there. Good stuff. Nice. There we go. There we go. I could have used my W earlier, but other than yep, that, I yep. think it's good. I, I, the thing is that, like, sometimes it's better to bait the opponent to go in if they don't realize you have W. But I, I would have used W, like, immediately when Nautilus jumped on. Okay. okay. This is probably oh, level 6. He's killable. He has. There you go. I'm just going to frontline. Oh. I'm frontlining. I'm frontlining. Oh. oh, watch out for Talia W. Nice. We should get her here. Ooh. I'm frontlining, baby. I'm in there. We ain't done. <laughs> We're not coming out. You sure about that? <laughs> oh, maybe we should be. Double. Yeah. I got a lever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go for the cheeky out of the on the bar. Oh my god! We're a little bit oh. low on energy here. Bro, what, we're still alive. What is going on? What are we doing here? Uh. Bro, what is this <laughs> game, man? You have W. You have W. You have to touch Lee. I don't even think I'm in my W there. Yeah. Wait! You can Lee. Ah! Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Okay, so should I be prioritizing tier 2 boots or um, Trailblazer? Ionian, Ionian, and then build Trailblazer movement speed item. Got yes, it, perfect. got it. Like the uh, Ming Moonblade. Oh, very nice. All right. Well, this is so, a very so chaotic we rush, game. We rush Ionian for more taunt flashes and also because your ultimate is coming up, right? And mm -hmm. your ultimate has the biggest cooldown in the entire game. So you want to have Ionian 15% ability or 15 ability haste to lower that cooldown. Got it, got it. Dude, this is such a chaotic game. Like, I was hoping for, like, a nice, tranquil, like, chill laning phase, and this nah, is just, nah, like, nah. nine people in bot lane permanently. Oh my god. Nice. I'm taking the shot oh, down, bro. Big and shackles for you. <laughs> <laughs> big shackles. <laughs> I think... I think you cast an E not at max range when you were going for Nautilus, by the way. Oh, really? It's it's variable cast range, so I think you like misclicked, so it was a bit shorter than it was supposed to be. Got it, got it. Well, I was just doing that so the viewers at home could learn, bro. You think I would actually ah, make a mistake? Thank you. Actual pro content get creator. By the way, there, when you're taking tower shot, I would always use Q to activate passive shield. To yep, yep. You're right. Good stuff, good looks.
And now it becomes you have level six, right? So now you have to have eyes everywhere. Like you need to be looking top lane. You need. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just make sure that if you see HP bars falling, you always know what is going on in every lane. So question: They can see mm -hmm. the sword even if they don't have vision of me, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I didn't know if it was like. A little known thing about Senna, which is another one of my main champs, mm. is if the souls pop out, the enemy can't see them unless they have vision of you. Or like they yeah. they have recently gotten yeah. vision of you. So it's like it doesn't so, give away your gigs yeah. or anything. So you can actually put the blade into a bush and the opponents won't see it. But if the enemy sees you, they will see an indicator, like an arrow towards the blade's position. I see. So that they know which side to avoid. Okay, but okay. if you're like yourself uh, in a bush and the blade is in a bush, they have no way to know. Got it. So it's not like old Aurelians or W's that would just reveal you in a bush as well. <laughs> so I go. Or what, the passive orbs, I guess, whatever. How much is Trailblazer? Uh, the gold. Need about 400. Yeah. No. So one thing that is like maybe not obvious on Shen support is that it's maybe better to like roam by moving and then ultimate back to your lane right oh okay so you think i shouldn't so be they, here yeah i mean i think you could be roaming right now since the lane is like quite passive yeah the, the only reason i wasn't roaming because I'm, I'm a very roam heavy player typically is like yeah. it's ash and nautilus which is just so much fast lockdown but maybe maybe you're right i could like I see that but then like you can just ult if yep, they engage yep, you're right and then you're giving solo experience to vayne which is probably quite nice All right, I, I, I want my first alt to be a good one. Yes, <laughs> We're, we've been saving ourselves up for that. Where are we going? That was not a good okay. one. Uh, you're gonna have to go to Shen School after this one. So. Shen School, dang it, man. Is tuition so free? Typically, <laughs> if, you, if you want to save an ally, right? The, the priority of like operations that you want to look at is first using QW on top of the ally, like walking on top of them, just QW to protect. Uh, and the second is like E, like those are the two major things that you want to be using. Like using our ultimate there negates less damage than using QW on top of the ally, if that makes sense. Because that does, okay. you would have given invulnerability basically to queen damage, to leasing damage after Q. So you're probably blocking upwards of 500 or 600 damage if you just walk and QW. Okay. Uh, and then you can use the ultimate afterwards if you really need it. But so I, I, I really hate using like ultimate as the first kind of ability. Okay, got it. So, ba so basically your ultimate shouldn't always be like your go-to, like initial... Yeah, 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 for sure. Like I would rather save it for later. Okay, that's nice fine. I was trying to stay on the bottom side of her, so when she eat Yeah, that's a good idea. Just a little, like, small movement thing. So this is, like, one of the reasons why people say that my Shen does more damage. is simply because I'm getting Empowered Q every time. Uh, and there, like, you just misclicked one in movement command, and that led you to missing Q Empower. So you miss out on 30% slow, and you miss out on increased attack speed. Dude, so, I, that, that's so, sorry to interrupt you there. I I just think that like this is honestly why League of Legends is like such a beautiful game that like even very very on the surface like simple champions like Shen just have like infinite depth to them. And it feels like you can yep. like apply this game knowledge to like every champion out there. Like e e even Leona, like there are little things that like separate yep. great Leonas from bad Leonas. Where it's like on the surface, yeah, that's it's actually, just uh, that, that, just that's, a point that's like champion. Salt. I mean, it's not even the salt. It's like that's what I like about League as well. Yeah. Like. Like, I've played Shen, I don't know how many games now, too many, right? <laughs> uh, but I'm still finding out new stuff. Like, just yesterday, I realized that it's technically possible to manipulate your blade positioning without using Q. So if you want to take E level 1 for an invade, it's possible to take an invade path that teleports your blade into a good position for level 2 all-in. I don't know if that makes any sense, let's see this fight go up. <laughs> I think we're a little bit dead here. This seems so bad. Okay, so my brain was so, so split okay, there. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna give you a rundown, right? Okay. Okay. So typically you always use Q to move your blade, but, oh, what are we picking for items, by the way? You tell me, brother. 
I'm thinking, like, I would honestly go for the Spellblade one. Like, I think that's good damage. I think we would do that. Got it. Yeah. So you typically use uh, Q. Ooh, okay, well, let's see this. W Insta. W Insta. Ah! Oh. That was the worst thing you've ever seen in your life, bro. I'm so sorry I, I subjected you to that. Why was my E on cooldown? Did I use my E for fun or what? I think you for fun it, yeah. I think I for fun it, man. <laughs> Are we buying hard still? I don't know. It's, it's not a good item, really. Okay. But let's do it. Let's uh, do it. Hard, hard steel? We can, we can go something else. Maybe lock it? No, no, no. It's, it's fine. Let's do hard steel. <laughs> Let's see, let's see how the like honestly you will have like quite extreme burst damage with this build if you go hard still and let's say this build, like game goes to 30 40 minutes then we're gonna have fun right it's, yeah. it's gonna be a good one okay sweet now i will once again return to the topic so normally use q to move blade and we're gonna fight right but anyways if you move like long and like distant enough from your blade it will teleport towards you so you can manipulate that Okay, let's, let's, let's fight this. I don't think we win this, by the way. No, I, I think this is an absolute doomer. <laughs> I, I think we're just kind of running in. And, but honestly, it's like your team is committing on Drake's, right? And it's, it's it feels bad not to help them. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's the right call there. Like, just to go for some kind of other play. Like, Vayne is going for a beautiful play, play up in top lane. This Lee Sin has a lot of words. Yeah, he's typing a lot. It'd be it'd be very satisfying to beat this guy. I don't I don't know if it's in the cards, but it'd be very fun to beat this Lee Sun. No, no, we we will beat him. All right, let's beat him. Okay, shutdowns are important on Shen. Both team shutdowns. So typically, you look at enemy team shutdowns on Shen. You want to know who on your team has a shutdown, so that you can do the calculations correctly on if it's worth to ult or not. Nice try on the taunt. Let me tell you a little something about taunting. Right, this applies to a lot of. Abilities is you want to be looking at the enemies like attack pattern So typically ooh, Nice there you go. So typically maybe this is more for the viewers as well But people will on range champions have some kind of attack pattern either they're standing still Continuously attacking or they're moving attacking moving attacking moving attacking and you want to uh, Time your taunt so that it matches kind of their forward movement in some way. So if they're stuck, that's a good ultimate, by the way. And not worth, but it was a good idea. Damn, yeah, this Lee is fed. Yeah, he is massive. Hey, but honestly, I think your Vayne is a good player. I th yeah, yeah. I think we play for Vayne and we win the game. <laughs> hey, but this is really important when it comes to Shen. Like, you need to analyze your team because you need to know, like, who you can play around. It's like, in high elo, it's more like, okay, you just pick whoever is fed. But in low elo, it might be that you notice that, okay, well, our vein is really strong. Maybe we shouldn't waste ultimates on Barwick anymore. Maybe we shouldn't waste ultimates on Diana. Like, we should just use our ultimate on vein. Okay. Do you think that's the play here? We just we just solely prioritize ults on vein? Well, it's never like a... Uh, like a one-size-fits-all, like, yeah. Like, it's never, never like absolute decision, but like, you can heavily prioritize oh. vein. Makes sense, makes sense. But look at that E as well. This guy's uh, on the gear. This, this guy's gaming, bro. He's <laughs> he's gaming, man. Look at him. All right, there's there's the Lee Sen. There's the Lee Sen. So the way you play this fight, by the way, you stand oh. just. Oh. Hey, too. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, you had to go for that. I see. You had to go for that. I respect. You. But yeah, I would have said that like the way you never lose that fight is just stand on top of Vayne and block any skill shot to block out of there. But that works as well. Expect to. This, this might actually be the worst game of Shen I've ever played, bro. I'm so sorry, man. I'm fa I'm failing you as a student right now. Yeah. I mean, hopefully it's the worst game. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the worst game so far. <laughs> hey, but we're we're gonna get our heart still, and we're gonna do stuff. Yes, sir. Hey, who are you missing on Ultimate Hunter? You're missing one takedown. Talia. Okay. She's escaped my grasps too many times. Yeah. So, the kind of nice thing about Ultimate Hunter on Shen is firstly, like, obviously you have more map pressure, so you can reach map like, you can reach anyone basically. But then the second thing is that if you cast your uh, W on top of an ally, 
it will count as uh, you protecting them. So if they damage then anyone, you will get assist on them. Um, so this way you can usually like stack up your ultimate hunter in the first team fight if you hadn't already done that. It's kind of similar to how Jarvan just gets free assists every time from his E. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yep. Makes sense. All right. Well, I'm going to kind of practice what we're preaching here and play mostly for my vein. Just uh, yeah. just kind of bodyguarder, get up, set up vision for these flanks, yeah. these angles. So, uh, so I think like if you want to focus on something, I really want you to focus on actually like moving on top of an ally and using QW at the right time. Like it sounds very simple, but it's something that like legit like diamond and master chain players just don't do because they're not used to it. It's a very like defensive uses of the abilities, but I think it's correct in most team fights. Got it. All right, we got dragon coming up in 15. Mm -hmm. Kind of doing whatever the vein wants. Got nice split pusher or split this, push this, from. This is uh, also, by Moses. the way, why I don't play support because I legit don't know what to do in these kinds of situations. Like, because I feel like the correct play is just off farm and sit, or not even farm, but you just off and wait in a bush for people to do stuff, or then you try to engage. You, you just, you just what? AFK in a bush. Oh, AFK in a bush. Okay. <laughs> I said it in a very Finnish way. Sorry. <laughs> like. Uh, Oh, do in you in Finland you, you pronounce a as like a. oh off k off k oh I like that yeah, actually yeah yeah and then then you don't even say the like you know the words you just say like instead of saying afk you would say like fk and mm. and fuse it would be like afk dang this is a very educational video guys we're not we're not just learning League of Legends anymore <laughs> we're we're learning about cultures language how much was hard steel I keep forgetting oh my God protect vein protect vein yep 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 beautiful, yep beautiful. And now look for ultimate if anyone jumps on her. That's big. Dude, our Diana's kind of sick too. Mm -hmm. Diana's finding some really great angles. All right, we're one dragon away from Soul. Open. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't think it's worth to ult Varvik there. I think it was a good play. Think so? Imagine your Vayne doesn't have flash and she dies. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It was one of those things where it's like it's a good result, but like it wasn't worth the risk. It should just yeah, yeah, exactly. play for the best yeah, exactly. player. Like if if Vayne just like doesn't have flash, then we lose one thousand gold. And... Yo, um, since you're kind of calling the shots here, do I have permission to flame the Lee Sin? Yes or no? No, I I play with this chat disabled. <laughs> please, bro. Please, can I press enter? Please, no. please, 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 man, yeah, please. Shin God, he's toxic, too okay. he's too good of a guy, man. <laughs> like. It's just, you, you play like you are the character. That's the only way to play League. Mm. So if you play Draven, you're allowed to be toxic. Actually, okay, I'm not going to say anything. I was going to say something <laughs> about racism. That's, it's not worth it. It's not uh, worth it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so you kind of have to <laughs> live action role play the character as well. I, li uh, I like that <laughs> mentality, though. I think that works for Shin. I don't know, I don't yeah. know if it works for all characters, but... <laughs> <laughs> on on Warwick, you just uh, make dog sounds at yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna impress you in this next team fight, bro. Okay. No, oh, okay. Can remember, I stand up for my vein though? Because now Nasus is flaming my vein. I feel like Shin would stand up for vein here. No, you speak through your actions, not words. All right, all right, bet, bet, bet. Uh, we, got, we got this is worth. We, you, if you want to use chat, we got this is worth. Okay, we yeah. got this, we got this. <laughs> That's like, for me, I, I'm too weak of a player to have chat on, right? Because I, it will affect my mental. And I can't like, I can't play perfectly if I have chat on. So that's why I'd never have it on. Yeah, I don't think that's weakness though. I think any, any player worth their salt will like tell you or agree with you that like nothing productive comes from chat. So it's like, if yeah. anything, it's strength to like be able to like ignore those players that are like chirping in your ear like ah oh, why are you doing this why why do you why are you yeah, split but, pushing but, but think about it like there's some players there is i don't know if you've ever had the pleasure of playing with maggie felix probably not oh. because he's always on your quest yeah yeah okay now we're ulting i think that's a big alt oh my god that <laughs> yeah, shield is insane bro this champion's yeah, broken yeah it scales with hp and you're building full hp items so that's so. that's insane no i thought you were yeah. gonna say light rocket actually <laughs> oh, do you know who yeah. Light Rocket is? Yeah, the Tarek player. <laughs> yeah, I I look E flash here, right? Oh, I can't, I can't flash. I should have just gone for it. So, 
but that's like a so okay this is this is important actually so most of the time e flash is like superior to flash e but there are situations like with talia that flash e is the only correct version right, right. because you need to flash over the uh, barrier of e yep yep yeah because talia e doesn't stop flash just stops e yep. I think if I had gone for it, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm, I swear to God, like I'm playing differently than I normally do. I don't know why. I think I'm nervous, but uh... I mean, it's, I'm, I think it's normal. This, like, I think if people would like like the perfect coaching value, it would always be like it's always like, replay view. coaching. Yeah, solid. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. There was nothing for, like <laughs> if you miss either, then I might flame you. But that was solid. That's that would have been valid. That would have been very valid flame. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm so glad somebody's typing to not to listen. <laughs> Someone had to say, why are we not getting this, this maybe, wave? May, this may be the top laner in me, but I would be like using Q often. Like, for example, when you were hitting the wave, like, honestly, I mean, obviously you don't want to farm the minions. You want to give the farm to Bane, but I would just use Q because I, I keep using Q like very often. Okay, like, so whenever I'm hitting a wave, I'm using yeah, Q. Usually. So, so you, I, I'm, I'm having a little bit too much spell discipline on my Q then. Just like use it. I think so, because I, I don't think Q, like, you need spell discipline on Q in laning phase because you, like, want to guard good blade positionings. So if you have, like, an aggressive blade positioning, you don't want to ruin that. But, like, there, I don't know, like, mid game transition, I'm just using Q whenever. Because now you're just kind of like, you don't have a Q ability, it seems. Gotcha, gotcha. And yeah, exactly, for that sort of thing. So Q gives you uh, increased attack range. So when I'm clearing a ward, I want to have Q so that I can clear the ward from a longer range and then be more safe. Should not I ult this guy? Oh uh, yeah, okay. I, I didn't think so, because like we're playing for the wind con here. Yeah. No. He's no. gonna steal, isn't he? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. nothing that needs to be said. I don't know what's wrong with me today, man. Bro, I had the blast cone and everything. <laughs> I don't, bro. Listen, 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 listen. We don't gotta talk about it. <laughs> okay, now you're holding. Now you're holding. <laughs> w first. Yep, yep. Nice. Yep. Got, block the Nautilus. I'm learning, bro. I'm learning. I'm learning. Guarantee D. Don't even have to. Okay, that was chill. It's chill, we're chilling. I think we bounce out of here. I think you killed Talia. No, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking if they continue to chase, you can pick up one kill. I wonder if there's a honey fruit somewhere here. Wherever, wherever yeah, Vayne wants to go, that's where we're soul. going. Oh, by the way, I didn't even look at your items. I think Bummies is complete troller support. But... Dude, what is wrong with this Nasus? Wait. Block Q, block Q, block yep, Q. Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful. Nice. There we go. That's what we're talking about. No, bro, but like, don't think about Nasus. Think about why you have Bummies in there. What is that doing? You, didn't, you stopped telling me what to build, man. You let me think for myself. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you could think for yourself. I can! You gotta tell me! <laughs> uh, so, honestly, I think the right item here would be just a flat-out Warmogs. War Warmogs? Okay, so yeah. thoughts on going, like, Knight's Vow. Since we <laughs> have, Knight's like... Knight's Vow obviously broken. Like, if you want to build, like, very correctly, you would go Knight's Vow. Okay. Um, yeah, but... So we sell Bammies, grab Knight's Vow, start building Knight's Vow, or what? <laughs> sure, I'm selling Bammies is even troller, but like... Okay, I'll, I'll hold on to it then. Yeah, we got the Walmart variety build going on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> and discount section. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Um, five seconds on all. This no. is a little bit, uh-oh, oh, yeah. No. Okay, we, we, just, we just don't double down, and I think we're fine. Don't don't double down but, on this play. Don't try to force a fight through the five. I will use that opportunity to talk about why ability haste is so important. So, okay. if you had Kindle gem instead of bombies, you would have had ultimate up there, and you would have saved Bane, and you would have been killed. Okay, what are we thinking about a Baron steal here? I'm I'm thinking you steal I like this. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So we need to cast Q for spell blade. Uh, 
Yeah, we're, we're still stealing it. We're still stealing it. That's not stopping me. We just need to ward. Nasus has a play in mind. Would have been so okay, sick, though. Would have been so it sick. Not even close. <laughs> it would have been sick, though, bro. What happened to you being an encouraging it. It's, coach? It's, it's, it's for sure worth it. Like, because one in hundred games, yeah, you will that get works. that, and it will make a good feeling. And my death here means nothing, too. It's like it's a thirty-second death timer. There's nothing up, yeah. so it's like yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm fine I with agree. it. I agree. Enemy rampage. Mm. Rough game now. I think I think we're in kind of a bad spot. I will say I'm just strictly doing this for my own benefit. I think Font of Life is better than Shield Bash on Shen support. Uh, because Shield Bash would have done... It usually does like... 1.5 the amount of cheap shot uh, on average. So Shield Bash would have done something like 550 damage. And I think healing 1000 is more worth. <clears throat> Alright. Honestly, like I think you should be... Probably like pushing side lanes. Like we got the bummies anyways. Like let's use it. You like, you want me to push like as support? No yeah. like, all right, all right. You know we have our ultimate to join. Bet bet so, bet. So let you know. Have you? Do you follow pro lol at all? Um, on a, on a very superficial level. Like if I see something yeah. interesting in pro, like I'll make a video on it. But I don't like yeah. watch pro games. Yeah. So I, I only watch worlds. That's the only thing I watch ever. Okay. But um. I've been watching Worlds for a long time, and I think it was Nikki X who was doing, like, whenever they got Baron and she, he was playing Pike, he would always go to side lane to apply Baron buff. And I think you can think about Shen the same way, is that you have a lot of joining power, so you can kind of, like, use Shen as a second top laner if you're playing in support. Let's just play this out first. I'm gonna talk afterwards. To connect with Vayne, I need to protect Vayne, protect Vayne. Yes, protect Vayne. Oh no, don't give range. Yeah. Sweet. And just open the Q double, yeah. A bit early, but good idea. I knew Lee Sen's damage was gonna come out super fast, so I was just kinda like a little fast on the yeah, trigger maybe. Uh, yeah. So I think it's not worth to E-flash on Nautilus there. Even though this play goes well, <laughs> because it's going crazy. <laughs> but I, I, I think it's not worth to E-flash on Nautilus. Like, I would rather just see you walk with the Trailblazer movement speed, and then if they engage, then you're gonna E-flash on top of the carries, or just hold flash and okay. play for peel. Okay, got it. Yeah. I would look for a recall here. But maybe you can end the game. Just going for the end. Oh, sweet. What an absolute, like, dude. Like I said, I was looking, I was hoping it would be like a nice, chill, relaxing, like, it was just a vibe bath. of the game. It just was an absolute game. bloodbath. I've got, bro, there is so much going on in that game. But yeah, very sloppy Shen gameplay, but I, I hopefully it gave you guys a lot of stuff to learn from. And, um, yeah, yeah you, you did a good display of like common mistakes. That's very, I mean, obviously you were holding back your gameplay. I see that for the educational value. So. Yeah, yeah, he knows what's up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, x if you have anything else you want to say about that game, uh, mm. we'd be happy to hear it. Obviously, Vayne popped off. Uh, I think one, okay, I will say like, I will use hamburger feedback. Do you know what hamburger feedback is? Hamburger feet? Hamburger feedback. Oh, no, I don't know. That's a Finnish thing, bro. I've never heard of that. No, no, no. Okay, so hamburger feedback is that we start with positive, then we go into the meat of things, so negative, and then we end with positive. So Oh, a compliment sandwich is what we call it. A compliment sandwich. Okay, it's yeah. a it's a it's a translation issue, but hamburger feedback. So so firstly, <laughs> you had I think during the laning phase very good Q usage. During the laning phase you held your Q when it was not necessary to use it, to keep it in an aggressive position. And also, when we were chasing opponents, we were not using Q early, we were not attacking, we were looking for the Q slow to catch up to targets. So that's very well played by you. Then, the second good thing is that you were adapting to the game, right? So firstly, we were fighting with Warwick and Diana a lot. Warwick didn't seem to be a very good player. Then maybe because of my advice or just naturally we started playing towards Spain and and played well mm -hmm. uh
then the meat of things, like I think you should be using Q much more uh, through the mid game, just to like hit stuff. Like it, it doesn't make sense to hold it forever if it's like the blade is anyways in a bad position. You can also get some value out of triggering passive shield just like constantly. Like even if it doesn't seem like a situation where you really need the shield, just getting a shield to block like some kind of ra random ash arrow, like a, like a W volley, it's going to make a difference in the long run. So we want to be using Q a lot during the mid game. Um, and then maybe second thing is that you were really like, um, I don't know, maybe it was just the ultimate usage was not so correct. We didn't really make potential of the fact that we have a global ultimate because it kind of looked like we were just using it like a Janna E, right? Yeah. We didn't really use the potential that we can go roam to another lane or we can push a side lane ult back. Um, and then, wait, I need to find something positive still. But, uh, I messed it take, up. Take your I time, take have... your time. Um, no, bro, I'm going to leave it on the meat. I, I can't have <laughs> that we, Bro, that's not a sandwich at that point. We need the okay, other bun. This was, this was uh... a... <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. We had a good kind of educational aspect there, there we because we, we made some mistakes and we learned from them. So Hell yeah. Them. Well, guys... We ha oh, oh, actually, you had good um, patience on not using chat. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks again for, for joining us, man. Guys, everyone, no absolutely go check out Expat2. I'll be leaving links to all his... Uh, I think you've just got the one YouTube channel, right? Yeah, if you want to watch, or if you want to watch one video from me, please watch Art of Shen. Uh, okay, I, I, I will like link to that video to make that exactly. Video. Then I'll, I'll link to that video, guys. Go check him out. There is no better place on the internet to learn from Shen. As you can tell, this oh, guy knows you. his stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks again for joining I, us, I man. I just like playing Shen, man. <laughs> he just likes playing Shen. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. Uh, go check out his channel and let me know who you guys want to see me get coached by next. I'm down to get uh, coached by the rank one anyone. So yeah, take it easy, boys. Peace. So yeah, and guys, uh, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Smash it. Obliterate it. <laughs> take it easy.